just give the opportunity to come up and uh, use your microphone for a couple of minutes. I appreciate, it. I appreciate everybody's involvement over the past two years. Uh, if I've walked with, along you, I, I appreciate it. I give big hugs. I appreciate you coming out here. I appreciate the people support over around. Um, Gold Star Gun Rights has delivered upwards of probably 70,000 petitions in favor of more constitutional hearings. Our state delegates had made it top priority on the Republican platform for constitutional carry, a license carry. This is an inalienable right. We don't ask permission for the First Amendment. We don't require a license for that. Why are we doing it for another inalienable right? That protects the First Amendment. Why should we ask for a license? The majority of the nations does not require a license. The majority of the nations does not require me when I travel through their state to have a license to carry. I can walk around these streets out here with my AK-47 openly without any permit. I do not need a license for that. I do not need a license for black powder. What makes my 1911 so different? Why are we discriminating against that? Why do I need a license for that? Why can't Texas trust Texans? Why can't it? Texans are demanding this. Texas wants to repeal these racist Jim Crow laws that were enacted to keep us from carrying in the streets anyways. Why do we still have this on our books? Why do we need a license when the rest of the state's majority of them trust us not to have a license? Why are we going backwards? They can't answer that. Nobody will answer that. Why is it fair for a single mom who might have a situation that typically wasn't a gun owner, but she might need a means of def defending herself because a restraining order is just a piece of paper? And you know what? She's got to go through that process to be able to protect herself. She's got to go pay upwards of $400 between the state fees, the class fees. If she doesn't have a firearm, she's got to go out and purchase that firearm, another couple hundred dollars. Then she's got to go practice with some rounds, you know, to get comfortable with it. You know, adding all that up, you know, for somebody that's living paycheck to paycheck is an impossible feat for the rights of an inalienable right that's protected by our creator. Why is the state trying to legislate over that? There's no proof that openly carrying creates crime. It's, it's been proven otherwise to deter the crime. Why are they legislating for a license when it, it has no need, no purpose? We haven't seen that though. But if you have that license, it can be taken away from you just like that. For a misdemeanor here. You're talking on your phone, you just left lunch. You pull your phone out of your pocket, a piece of paper from your lunch falls out on the ground. A cop sees it and does not like you openly carrying it. They write you a ticket for littering. You just lost your enable right just like that. For littering, a piece of paper falling out of your your your, your pocket will we'll take you right away. Just the way you know, a cop doesn't like you carrying it. And you say, oh, that won't happen. Well, let me tell you, right by this cannon right here, these brown shirts out here broke three of my ribs for carrying what I have the right to. You know what? They drug it out for over a year and would not see me in court over it. They would not see me in court over it. But yet, I've got $30,000 in medical bills. I've got, you know, I had to bail myself out. And I had lost a work. Who's paid for all that? Who pays for these mothers that can't afford that right or don't have the months to wait to be able to protect themselves? Why does Texas not trust the Texans? You know, the support for constitutional carry is there. All the polls that we've seen over and over with hundreds of thousands of Texans polled has been 80 to 90 percent in favor for unlicensed carry. The people have spoken. The only roadblock is the representatives in these offices. I don't care about your NRA rating. You can go to the bathroom with that rating. I, that doesn't mean nothing to me. They do not represent me. They do not represent Texans. Texans have a naval right, and it's being infringed upon. When they infringe upon that right, it 
It spits on the graves of our Texans that drew that line in the sand at the Alamo and said, come and take it. Liberty or death, we are standing our ground. We did not debate with Santa Ana saying, oh, you know what, let's get a license and when we need that cannon, you know, we can go sign it out from you and you will be able to use it. No, they said, hell no. We're keeping our cannon. We're going to have it if you want to come and take the damn thing. Why not Texas? Why do we have to fight for it for another 